Kathy Thomas, and I'm at the Navarro's with Michael Jordan. And Michael is a master sommelier, and that's a really, really, really big deal. And Michael can do a blind tasting and figure out all kinds of things, including what the wine is. Right, Michael? In yeah. good conditions, yes. And can you kind of take us through it and show us how you do that? Yeah, I'd be happy to. Well, the, the first thing I, I will notice, of course, keep it simple, this is a white wine. Uh -huh. I'm looking at the color of the wine, and I can see that it's a pale straw color, and it has a little bit of a green hue, and it's very uh, day bright, and uh, that green hue is telling me that it, it could have some youthfulness uh, or from a very cool climate. So that, that's from the green. A little slight green uh -huh. hue that's in there. And uh, before uh, even smelling or tasting, uh, you, you can get a lot of key markers about a wine. So now I've swirled the wine in the glass and I'm looking at the sheeting of the liquid over the sides of the glass and I'm looking at the church windows or some people actually call them legs or tears. I like church windows mm -hmm. because a guy in Germany said that and I thought it was really cool. And I can see that these legs and tears are dripping somewhat slowly, but they're, I would call this medium, and that's telling me how much alcohol is in the wine or how much sugar. And when we taste it and see if it's a sweet wine, we'll know if it's sugar or alcohol. Now I'm going to smell the wine to uh, try and identify some markers. Oh, and this wine has a lot. It's giving a lot of great aromas and smells, but the first thing that really strikes me is that there is a, an earthiness, uh, a rocky, stony kind of minerality. I smell um, green apples, citrus, like uh, lime and lemon zest, and almost a little bit of like white peach, a slight, slight floral like lemon blossom, and then lots of rocky stony mineral almost like um, chalk and like crushed seashells whoa and that's a classic marker telling me that this could possibly be a certain particular type of wine okay uh, it's a youthful wine and it's highly complex now let's taste it and see what we've got okay so you've used your eyes you've used your nose now the palate Okay, I'm confirming my suspicions by tasting that on the palate, I'm getting the same fruit flavors that I smell. Now let's frame up the wine okay. and talk about uh, the structure of the wine. Um, this wine has a medium alcohol and that would match with the legs and tears or the church windows, so medium power. It has a medium plus it's a high acidity. So again, cool climate. Uh, it has, um, wow, a long finish. So it's high quality wine. It's extremely well balanced. Um, there is no evidence of oak on the palate, so that confirms. So now we're talking about probably old world wine, European style wine from cool climate. Um, apple, and the, and the aftertaste, the long finish, I get a little bit of unripe pear. So apple, pear, citrus. Um, chalky minerality, so there's only a few places in the world where really this type of one will grow on chalk. Um, primary conclusion, I will guess that this is an old world wine from a cool climate, possible varietals, certainly Chardonnay jumps out right away, uh, could maybe be um, a dry Chenin Blanc or an Alvarino from France or maybe then Spain. Uh, age range, this is a young wine, I would say one to four, one to three years, and one to four years, and uh, high quality producer. My final conclusion, this wine is from France. It is a Chardonnay. It is from the region of Burgundy. This is Chablis. It is a Premier Cru or higher, so, and it's a very, very well made, delicious wine. I would say this is a Grand Cru Chablis from uh, 2004 or five, I'm gonna go with, it's not so ripe and stone fruity, it's more apple and lemon and limey, so I'd say 04. 
2004 Grand Cru Chablis from our very high quality producer, Grand Cru. Wow. Okay, okay here we go. Let's let's, let's unveil it. <laughs> Chablis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Michael, you are amazing. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Just amazing. Thank you. Here's oh. to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm lucky. Yeah. Lucky. It's really a parlor trick, you know? <laughs> no. Thank you so much.